In today's episode, I'm going to talk about Worms. Worms was released on all possible platforms, except Sega 32X and Virtual Boy, but today I am going to show you three of them, Amiga's original, CD32 and MS-DOS. I am also going to demonstrate you some interesting cheats, how to replace some weapons and how to perform a hidden move only available in Amiga's version. There is also a bazooka Uzi trick only in MS-DOS. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. If you like the content I am creating, please like and subscribe to support. Not much of a plot, Worms is a turn-based artillery game, where each player controls a team of several worms. During the game, players take turns selecting one of their worms, choosing whatever tools and weapons are available to attack and kill the opponent's worms, thereby winning the game. Worms may walk around and jump, but also move by using particular tools such as the bungee and ninja rope to access otherwise inaccessible areas. Each turn is time limited to ensure that players do not hold up the game with excessive thinking or moving. Worms was the brainchild of Andy Davidson, a then unknown computer shop employee, who began working on a project initially called Artillery in 1990. Artillery was based on previous tank artillery games from the 8-bit era. Davidson later introduced Artillery to the Amiga in August 1993, which allowed to expand his idea further, leading him on introducing new elements and a graphical style to distinguish his project from its spiritual predecessors. Davidson wanted to achieve the same animation quality and humor seen in Lemmings, which led him on employing Worms as characters for his project. Worms was first launched in Europe for the Amiga in the end of 1995. Soon after, commercial ports of the game were released for many platforms including Amiga CD32, Atari Jaguar, Game Boy, Macintosh, MS-DOS, PlayStation, Sega Saturn, Sega Mega Drive, and Super Nintendo. Today I am going to take a look at three of them, like I said before. I start with the original Amiga's version, and then compare it with Amiga's own console, CD32 port and lastly MS-DOS port. Silent. The game has no in-game or menu music whatsoever, and that is a shame. Don't get me wrong. Original Amiga version is still a hell of a good game and a lot of fun, but it's a little disappointment that the game was only ECS. It should have been AGA, considering it was already 1995. All the intro videos and cutscenes were also added in future ports. But like I said, the game still plays well and looks decent. I would even say it was one of the last great games, that was developed for and initially released on the Amiga computers, and one of the best games ever developed for Amiga computers. Amiga was discontinued in 1996, the following year. Unfortunately, Amiga CD32 version is exactly the same game as it was on the Amiga, except it now has CD quality soundtracks and cutscenes. It even retained copyright protection with 5,950 codes. Huh? 
It's not a game that takes full advantage of the CD status. Why, for instance, could the CDXL animations not be incorporated into the game? Maybe not each time there was a kill, but at least at the end of each level or game even. Not much more to say about it. I wish it had been AGA. MS-DOS version however, drastically improved graphics, thanks to the VGA with 256 colors, now available for then modern PCs, in 1995. Amiga only had 32 colors. And unlike Amiga's version, which was completely without background music, MS-DOS version comes with nice environmental background music, which gives a little atmospheric touch to the game. Please note, in this video I used footage from Worms United, because I couldn't get my original Worms CD to work with CD audio. Worms United is a compilation of Worms and Worms enforcements, adding few new terrains, one new weapon, possibility to choose between different speech style and gravestones, and of course the challenge mode with 25 single-player missions. But if you play regular game, then most of the game is identical to the original, with unaltered graphics and soundtracks. Accept these new terrains and possibility to pick Worm every turn. I am planning to make another episode about reinforcements or Worms United anyway, and then I take a closer look at the challenge mode and these single-player missions.
Now I am also going to demonstrate you how to replace weapons and perform a hidden move in Amiga's version. Typing, total, wormage, including the space, replaces the cluster bomb with the banana bomb, the Uzi with the minigun, and the mine with the sheep on the option screens. It also changes the palette on the main menu, so you know it worked. Prod is a hidden move on the Amiga. To prod, tap away, away, towards, towards. Your worm will then prod. This will push the enemy worm and end your turn. It will cause no damage, however you could push your opponent off the edge. MS-DOS version however. Typing, B-A-A-V-A-A, -A -A -A, either on the option screen or in-game will grant you the sheep, banana bomb, and minigun. Typing it backwards disables the cheat. In Worms United, you would need to type B-O-B-J-O-B -O -O in the weapons menu to enable unlimited sheep, banana bomb and minigun. There is also a bazooka Uzi trick only in MS-DOS. Select any target with the Uzi, then hold F1 and press space. You will get a bazooka upgrade for your Uzi. Massive. There are many more tricks you could try, just follow the link in description. I hope you enjoyed the video. In the next episode one I'm going to talk about worms for PlayStation, Saturn and Jaguar. If you like the content I am creating, please like and subscribe to support.